You wanna add videos or animations to the buildings or any motion surface, but you don't know what's actually an easy way to stick videos or logos to drone footage using masking and tracking at the same time. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it easily using Mocha. First, we will draw marks or shapes on the building ons. Second, we have to duplicate masking layers by making some changes. Third, we must stick videos or animations to the duplicate layer using Mocha. This is the way to attach videos to the buildings or any objects. I can honestly say masking and tracking using Mocha in After Effects is easier than 3D tracking in After Effects. You can compare it. I have a 3D tracking tutorial which is building 3D camera tracking in After Effects. You can also watch that tutorial link in the description. Now let's get into today's tutorial. This is our today's tutorial. Now I'm gonna explain it how to make it again. First of all, we need to drag this main video into this icon to create a new composition. Let's see the video once by moving the time indicator. To apply mocha, we need to navigate to the effects and presets. After finding the mocha AE, apply it to the video on the timeline. In the effect controls, click on mocha to open it in a new window. So here is our footage on mocha. Let's move the time head to the fast frame. At the top, you get the pen tool. I basically call it pen tool, but it has a different name for Mocha. Now, draw a simple marks around this building. I'm gonna change the round, so right click at the top of the blue line and move it slightly. Let's go to the layer properties. From here, we can enable the logo. Now, we can see the logo inside the masking area. Next, go to the essentials to active show surface. This blue rectangle represents the surface area where the attach video will appear and the red shape is our masking or tracking area. Let's increase the surface area out of the mask as we now cover the entire area of the mask to stick a video. I'm gonna make you understand better so let's go to the properties again and select grade 8. Now I hope you clearly understand the surface. To start tracking go to the essentials once again. First enable perspective as our time indicator is on the left side so click on the right tracking icon. We got a message. This message may be due to tracking area that went out of the frame. That is not a big issue. I'll fix it later inside After Effects. Now we can move the time indicator to check everything is ok. Inside layer properties, we can make it none. This time I unlock the mask or shape one just for safety. Then make sure the time indicator is at the first frame of the video. Now take the pen tool because we need to draw a shape around this building. To make the masking easy, we can zoom in and out by holding down the G key and then left click on the mouse, dragging it up for zoom in and dragging it down for zoom out. If you need to move this video around, hold down the X key, left clicking the mouse and move it around where you need to move. After drawing the shape, we have options to adjust the round of the corner. We can do it by left clicking the mouse for a single masking point. If you wanna adjust the round for all the masking points, then do it by right clicking. To adjust the surface, make sure the surface means the blue rectangle line is visible. Then we can change link to track from none to grade 8 inside properties. And finally adjust the surface. Next get back to essentials to enable perspective and click on the right tracking icon to allow the mocker to track the entire video clip. So Mocha track the tracking area very well. We can now disable the surface grid and show surface to see only the mask or shape. If you feel the masking points need adjustment, then you always have options to do it manually. And see there is no issues right now. Let's save the project by clicking on this save icon and exit the Mocha to get back to the After Effects. So now we are inside After Effects. In the mocker effect, we have to expand the mat and click on create AE mask to create mask. These are masks we have created inside mocha. I have a separate tutorial about masking in mocha. If you are interested more about masking and tracking in mocha, then I highly recommend you to watch this tutorial. You get the link in the description of this video. At this time, we have to go to the mask inside video layer. You have already noticed there are two layers for two masks. We can quickly identify them by the colors. Let's move the time indicator to find out the previous issues of the masking layer on. To fix this issue, we have to delete these keyframes for layer on. So first expand max layer on and select these keyframes for max path and hit the delete key on the keyboard. By clicking left and right arrow icons, we can select the last keyframe of max path. Next, make sure the layer 1 is selected. Zoom in or out the composition by scrolling the mouse. 
finally drag the max on out of the frame for the last keyframe of max path. This way we can solve this kind of issues of mocha. Now we can duplicate the video layer by hitting the Ctrl plus D key at the same time and change the name of the both layers which can help you identify them easily when you have more layers on the timeline. This time we must expand the video layer 1 to get into mask. Select subtract for mask layer 1 and layer 2. See the changes in the composition. We can set back the composition zoom level to fit. If I hide and unhide both layers separately, it can make you better understand the difference between them. The first layer represents the outside of the mask and the second layer represents inside of the mask. In this portion of the tutorial, we need to go to the project. Here we have two animated clips gonna be placed between two layers on the timeline. Now these clips layer 2 and 3 will be stuck to layer 4. To do it, first we have to select these layers and hit the A key to expand the anchor points. The anchor points value of layer 2 and 3 must be similar to layer 4. You can see layer 2 is not matching with layer 4. So what we have to do is select layer 4 then copy the value of anchor point of layer 4 by hitting Ctrl plus C at the same time. Next select the anchor point of layer 2 and hit Ctrl plus V at the same time to paste the value. They are all now perfect for adding to the masking buildings. I can select all layers and hit the A key to collapse the anchor points. Now let me introduce all the layers again by hiding them one by one. Right now we are in the final part of the tutorial. So select the layer 4 and move to the effect controls. Expand the tracking data, then click on create track data. From this pop-up window, first we choose layer 1 for linking to the big masking building and hit OK. So now you may notice it made some changes. Tracking data has changed. Next in the export options, we keep the corner pin. Layer export 2, we select here the video we wanna add. In my case, I choose the video layer 3 and finally hit apply export. Something has changed but we can't see it because of layer 2. We can hide video layer 2 for a while to see the changes. If I hide layer 1, you can see layer 2 that we are gonna stick to layer 4. Unhide layer 1 and select layer 4 once again. Go to the mocha in the effect controls. Click on create track data. Select masking layer 2 which is this masking and hit ok. A layer export 2 select video layer 2 whose name is time and apply export. So video layer 2 change its size and attach to surface of mask layer 2. Let me hide layer 1 once again to show you what changes we basically brought into layer 2 and layer 3. Ok, I should make it unhide now. We can see the entire composition once again. At the end of the tutorial, I wanna make a couple of changes here which is the blending mode. Here is the blend mode. If you can't see it, then you can just enable this icon at the bottom. Go to layer 2 and click here to see all blending modes. From all of them, I can choose pin light for this layer. It's totally up to you depending on the footage. For layer 3, first I select overlay, which is alright. I can also choose the screen that suits this building well. That's all for tracking building drone footage using Mocha in After Effects. I hope it will help you to attach animations or logos to any motion surface. Thank you for watching the most extended tutorial till now. I'll be back in the next video.